What's going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Rise of Civilizations. All right, so we're going to do some commander, um, pretty much looking up all the commanders and going over each one. Not in this video, but we're going to make a series out of it, okay? All right, so pretty much this account is free to play, but we went ahead and purchased. We made a first purchase. We can get a legendary hero. Uh, what we did was got Minamoto no, Shiyu, no Yoshi Yusune. All right, so Minamoto was a military commander of the Minamoto clan of Japan in the late Heian and early Kamara periods. Uh, during the Genpa War, he led a series of attacks or battles which toppled the Aishio, man, I can't even say these words, man, branch of the Teria clan, helping his half-brother Yorimoto uh, consolidate power in year 1189. Fujiwara no Yoshira, <laughs> son of the trusted ally fearing the pressure of Yoshi Yorimoto, betrayed Yoshi, man, whatever, screw that, <laughs> surrounding his residence with his troops, defeating his reigners, and forcing um, him to commit seppuku, I guess that's, uh, he killed himself, um, he's considered one of the greatest and most uh, po popular warriors of his era, and one of the most famous samurai fighters um, in the history of Japan, all right, so we got him unlocked, guys, First purchase. I don't know if we'd make any more, but we can went ahead and purchase him because we want to get a legendary um, hero. All right, so this guy is good with cavalry, peacekeeping, and skill. All right, so mine is level one right now. At the end of this episode, he won't be level one anymore. Well, I mean, I won't be having enough uh, resources to level him up, but as we progress, we're going to go ahead and get this guy leveled up. All right, so with his, uh, not his talents, let's go ahead and erase back off of that. Let's go with his skills right now. All right, so we have one that's unlocked right now, which is this Kayo Hirochiyu, um, which deals direct damage to the target and has 50% chance to deal additional damage to the target uh, each second for two seconds. Um, direct damage factor is 600. Additional damage factor is 200, which is a pretty amazing skill so far. I'm pretty excited to be able to use that soon. Um, then we have the... Kayo Hirachi Kiwami um, deals direct damage to the target and has a 50% chance to deal additional damage. Um, damage factor 600 to the target each second for two seconds. Um, deals direct damage to the target and has 75% chance to deal additional damage. That's that's pretty amazing right there. Um, each second for two seconds. That's going to be painful for the enemy, of course. Um, then we have the trial on... Trial in Kurama Dura, which in, uh, increases cavalry units march speed by 3% and attack by 10%. Thumbs up for that, guys. Cavalry march bonus speed, 3%, 4, 4 4.5%, 6%, 8%, and 10% with the bonuses and all that good stuff. Man, this is amazing, guys. If you guys like content like this you want to see some more, make sure you guys are subscribed so that way you can see the latest and greatest from the Swill Entertainment channel. And make sure that bell notification is turned on. That way you will be alerted each and every time we post a video on the Swill Entertainment channel. All right, with that being said, let's go on with the next skill. We got Master of Kendo. Increased damage dealt to barbarians by troop led by this commander by 10%. So yeah, you farming barbarians, this is going to be good for you to use. Um, bonus damage to barbarians, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50%, respectively. And then we have Warlord. Troops' normal attacks have 10% chance to increase damage taken by the target by 10% for the next 3 seconds. Effect can only tr uh, be triggered once every 5 seconds. And then we have damage taken increased by 10%, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Alright, so definitely want to give a good shout out to uh, Duke. I watch a lot of his videos. Guy's amazing. Go ahead and check out his channel, guys. Of course, you got Spooby. You got, um, I can't remember half the names. I can't say half the names anyway. But yeah, definitely check out those guys. They have some really amazing guides on commanders. Uh, let's see here. Just going to try to figure out what we're going to do as far as our talents go, but we'll be right back. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to go full peacekeeping or put some skill points in there as well. I probably will eventually, but I'm going to go uh, peacekeeping because I do a lot of barbarian farming, and I think that's going to you know benefit me in the long run. All right, so with the first skill, we have no points right now, of course, but what we will be going with is... Uh, Increase march speed of all units led by this commander by 3%. Matter of fact, let's go set ourselves up for a, a, uh, a fight really quick here. Uh, you just recruit a legendary commander. Reward yourself with the bundle containing 
66,375 gems worth of gems for five bucks. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we can revisit that at some other point. But right now, as far as the commanders, I would probably match up with this guy until he gets beefed up. Is either going to be Boudica or we're going to match him up with Lohar. Because both of them, when they fight Barbarians, they're going to get some uh, talents anyway. I have Lohar as a uh, peacekeeping anyway. Probably might need to respect him also, but not right now. It's going to cost a lot of gems just to do so. Um, so right now we're going to, we have a full amount of um, action points. So we're going to go ahead and just, you know, put some, you know, put some, put some love on these uh, barbarians real quick. Uh, we don't necessarily have to go high level. We're going to probably go like 12-ish for now. So we're going to try Lohar and then we'll try Boudica as well. So both of them respectively. Probably going to be better with Lohar. I don't know, but we're going to find out. So let's go with, um, let's put Lohar out here. And then we'll put, damn, the camera's in the way. The camera's all in the way, guys. Nah, that's not him. These guys all look alike, man, after a while. Where's my dude at? Where's my bro? Oh, there he is. He's hiding. Like, why is he trying to hide? So this is obviously going to be a piece of cake. So it says. So these guys are going to march up there. And we're just trying to get some experience points. A little bit here and there. A little bit, you know, fact, fast and fast and furious. So we're going to see how this goes with the uh, these guys here. So we're going to scroll in here a little bit. Just zoom it in just a little bit. I want to see the uh, action from both. All right, so the enemy's dying pretty fast. Like, it's nothing, but we're still taking some damage. We shouldn't take as much damage as we are. I don't think if we're doing that much damage, if it's a piece of cake, we shouldn't take any damage at all, minimal. But they're, all right, they're already dead already. And I can probably take, like, level 17s or whatever with my account, which was free to play until now, guys. <laughs> but we're trying to get a million um, power fast. All right, so let's go ahead and find, like, level 13. We're going to keep on going up. Let's go ahead and march these guys out there. That's probably going to be a good little march to get there. But we got the commander getting some skill points already. So it's pretty good. Either way, he's going to get power leveled. And I got no issues with that. So we got some talent points, finally. We got three talent points, guys. And we're going to go into the peacekeeping, like I said. All right. Call me a liar. All right. So first of all, we're going to go with, uh, let's see, he has march speed of all troops. Matter of fact, let's go backwards here. Actually, go forward. Skill, uh, what you want to actually do in the end game? Let me see. What we have, we have double edged sword, uh, which increases damage dealt to barbarians and other neutral units by five percent, but also increases damage taken from these units by five percent. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty extensuous and nasty. Uh, we have curing chant, which heals portion of slightly wounded units, healing factor of hundred um, after defeating barbarians. Or other neutral units that seems pretty good but I think right now I'm gonna probably end up going so far just looking at those two skills right there alone I'm gonna try to go towards the double-edged sword as much as I can um, we got thoroughbreds which increase marching speed of all troops by 3% that's good if you want to farm you're gonna be able to farm much faster all right so let's go back to the beginning here all right so March speed of all troops increase March speed of all units by 3% you could potentially get about 18% if you go all the way through with all the skills um, for this one, we have defense, increased defense of all units led by this commander by half a percent. We have quick study, increased experience attained from defeating barbarians and other neutral units by 5%. That's where we want to be. We want that. Quick study. We have insight, which reduces action point cost to attack barbarians and other neutral units by um, 3%. That seems okay, I guess. But definitely want to get this quick study. That's definitely a must. It's a major must. Um, let's see, we have attack, um, increased attack of all units led by this commander by half a percent. Uh, that seems okay. Then we have domination, increases skill damage dealt to barbarians and other neutral units by 5%. Killer instinct, which uh, increases normal attack damage dealt to barbarians and other units by 3%. So essentially this guy's going to be able to beef, uh, not beef up, but he'll be able to uh, go with any other, any other commander you put him with. Health increases health units half percent. Health again. 
Mighty Force, when the commander launches a rally attack, all damage dealt to barbarians and other neutral units is increased by 3%. All right, so like I said, I want to go with the double-edged sword, but I do want to get this quick study so I can get that extra experience for fighting barbarians. So let's go ahead and put our, our points in, start getting this thing going a little bit. All right, so we got those points in, and we can get one more in the quick study, and it'll be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go back out to the field, guys. We're going to build this guy up little by little, as much as we can, and we're going to put him with Boudicca this time with this level 13-ish um, character. Now, of course, he can't be a, a main character right now, but he can be a secondary character for now, and then we'll get him... Get him where he needs to go, guys. We'll get him where he needs to go. All right, so this is going to be neck and neck. We can always put more troops in there, make it a piece of cake. Why not? Why should we suffer? All right. All right, so we've got to definitely make sure you heal your troops back up, guys. You want to make sure those troops are healed up. All right, so let's go run out there real quick and see where we are. <clears throat> so it's going to be a minute 40 second march, but we'll be right back just to make sure this is... All right, so they made it. All right, so Boudicca, we got 61,000 troops just hanging out right now. And these guys are getting slaughtered. Man, look at that. Slaughtered. So I think so far with this level right now, the best one to pair him up as a secondary commander, him, um, is going to be Boudicca because they do more damage. But not saying Lohar is horrible. I just have him spec a totally different way. All right, so definitely want to make sure that um, you have purchased treasure. See, congratulations, you have successfully purchased Treasure of the King Bundle. Gems have already been added to your account, and bonus items have been sent to your storage. Please remember to claim them. Thank you for your support. Claimed. Thank you. So we got Martel's um, Treasure of the Martel's Heart. Uh, Alliance Wooden Chest, 600 gems. Got some speed ups. Only 68. Got eight hours worth of speed ups, which is good. A golden key. And basic action point recovery and some VIP points. Oh, I need some VIP points badly, man. I want to get VIP 6. So bad. Because that just gives me another builder. That's pretty much all that is. I'm tired of spending gems every day on that. So let's go ahead and pop in our VIP points. Yeah, buddy. That didn't take us up very far at all. That kind of like was kind of crappy. I'm not going to lie. Pretty crappy. All right, so let's go back to our commander. I don't think he has any more um, anything else. So, let me see. We're going to go ahead and beef him up a little bit. He's only one star, but we'll get there. Hold on a second, guys. All right, so our Minamoto is two stars right now. So, we're getting him there little by little, guys. Little by little. And we do have some more talents we can use. So, let's go ahead and go back to the Minamoto. Where is this Jabroni? All right, there he is. Go back to our talents. And, like I said, we want to get the quick study. So, we're going to go ahead and pop that in there. And that gives us more experience there. Increased experience obtained from defeating barbarians and other neutral units by 15%. Game changer, 100%. All right, so now we should be back to our base by now. Yes, we are. We're back. All right, so we're going to go to a higher level, of course. I don't think we really did. I don't think it really matters. So it's not too far. All right, and I think at this point, we can just go with it. It doesn't really matter. It's a piece of cake no matter what. And we're going to see some more experience pop in there. It's going to be free way, a free way to um, level up, guys. I'm excited. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so they're marching. They're marching pretty fast. It's not too slow. Now, I don't know if I need to redo Boudicca. I'm pretty sure I need to. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm matching him up with any. He can, like I said, he can match up with anybody once we get leveled up a little bit more. And we want to max him out to 40. I think he's probably going to be the first commander that I get to 40, I think. I don't know yet. Either him or Boudicca or Lohar. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. So hopefully this is going to help me out with the expeditions as well. I like to do expeditions, and I'm tired of getting one star. I want to make sure I get my three stars. All right, so it's going along a little bit nicely, guys. No complaints. Let's move this dang on Ugg Mug somewhere else. Move that Ugg Mug. And we do have lots of action points left to go. All right, so guys, definitely would be appreciative if you guys drop some likes on the video. All right, so we got a battle report here as well. Level 14, done, no problem, piece of cake. And like I said, I could probably go to level 17, and it's not even going to put a scratch on us. Not going to lose a hair. Claron's call. All right, so during the event, governors can receive points by destroying the barbarian 
and the points will be accumulated by rank. When reach the specific points, governors will receive the corresponding rewards. The governor who joins the alliance will also win the um, alliance event point for ranking. A governor and alliance with specific rank will receive additional ranking rewards after the uh, end of the event, which ends in 5 hours, 44 minutes, and 10 seconds. All right, so that's cool. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, scores will be accumulated for ranking. Governors with alliance will also yada, yada, yada. So points rule. So holy crap, guys. I need to start fighting some level 16s because I get 50 points as opposed to my 40 points I'm getting right now. I didn't even know that. This must have just started. All right, so we're going to go look for some level 15, 16s, actually. I think we can do it. We should be okay. Let's go ahead and attack these jabronis here. Yep, yep. Neck and neck. That's what it said. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and assist the alliance here. Let's go ahead and get that wooden chest. And do some assistance here, donation-wise. We were number one for a long time. That's where we're getting so many resources. But I guess other people in the alliance actually woke up, and they started doing their donations. And that's pretty much how that ended right there. So now we're back to the lower tier, which I'm not complaining about. I was the reigning king for a long time. All right, so we have 42 seconds until we get there. We'll be right back. For All right, so they made it there, guys. They're just wailing in on the uh, the enemy there. Love it. It's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be, like, really close. I didn't put enough troops in there. I probably should have popped some more in there, but we were like, well, whatever. So uh, we're, 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 they're, you know, they're going down a little bit. We're trying to chase those points. And what we could have done is put like some more commanders in there, <clears throat> put like maybe two marches extra on there. So I have a total of three marches, but we don't need it. It's not necessary. We're just doing some stuff for intense purposes for the video. All right. So we got bronze chest and we'll get some more chests after this one's done. Smashed. No problems. Let's make sure we go back and heal up our, our troops as well. You don't want to miss that, miss that opportunity. And then we'll go back to farming as well. But right now, this is working out pretty damn good. Pretty pretty excited about this. All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> All right, Minamoto. This guy is actually a beast, man. All right, so we got some more action points we can use. And I don't really want to go too much more into this area. Um, increased, let's see, increased defense of all units led by this commander. Didn't really want that. It's not the route I wanted to go. So we're going to do the attack of all units led by this commander. So we're going to go with that. Because like I said, I want to go all the way to double-edged sword. That's where I want to be, personally. All right, so we got that. And my minimo is 10. So let's go ahead and use some of these little tomes just to speed this up just a hair. That's all we got to do. Just got to speed up a little bit, guys. Not much. We'll get more tomes as we go. So now our, our minimum is 13, and that's all the tomes we have. We have no more tomes, guys. Ouch. But we do have some more skill points, or talent points. All right, so increase 1.5%. Let's see where we can go now. We can either go Killer Instinct, increase normal attack damage dealt to Barbarians and other neutral units by 3%. That's a good one. Increase skill damage dealt to Barbarians and neutral units. It's the same thing, 5% or 3%. Hmm. We're going with the 5 all right, so we're going to go with that, and I, I think I, I might have messed up on that one. I don't know. If so, we can always reset it. Not a big deal. All right, hopefully we made it back to our base, which I think we did. Let's go back out and go kill some more, guys. Rinse and repeat. Level 16, let's go. All right, so they, they're maxed out on the troops. Damn. All right, so we'll be back. All right, so we made it there. All right. So we got it going on right now, guys. This is good. It's almost done. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Almost done. We're taking some damage, but we're not taking that much. It's not even notable. So we got that extra, I think, 5%. Um, 
Hmm, I'll have to check it out real quick. Not 5%, I don't think it was. Whoop, whoop. Where is my Minamoto? He's always hiding around. All right, so we got the extra, let's see, 15%. Ooh, that's pretty nasty, guys. 15% damage extra. That's pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to showcase, we're going to get our get our Minamoto up there where he needs to be. And like I said, we're going to be starting to showcase each commander on each video. We may put out daily videos on this. I'm not sure. We should. But if you guys want to see daily videos on this, let me know in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to drop a like, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.